Okay. Hi. Okay, hi. So please introduce yourself. Okay, so we are from the National Yangming Chao Tong University in Taiwan. And this is our topic. What's your name? I'm Lin Chan Lin. All right. Yeah. So and, uh, what do you do here? And my topic is design free-form algorithms for ideal implementation in defective AR waveguide. And the goal of my poster is to find a way to reduce eye glow. And the eye glow, which means the leakage of the light. And we can see here from the picture from the internet. And in that image, we can see, we can clearly see the user's eyes, which means it is quite good. But in the other side, in the right image, we just see a piece of light, piece of light and which means it has a large eye glow. And it's, it's what called bad user it, experience. Yeah. Is it possible to get the eye glow away completely? Yeah. Completely away? It looks like your glasses. A, surely it is not. It can completely dis reduce it, but we just try to reduce it. Is it the shape yeah. of the glass in front of the waveguide? What do you do to to make sure nothing leaks out of the, the, the wrong side of the display, of the, the glass. Oh, because in our AR waveguide, we will compose some <laughs> gratings. And the grating is, is, it will let the light come into our substrate. It will, let the, it will help the light come into the substrate. Yeah, so we just change the gratings profile to let the, to help to reduce the angle like this. How yeah. much? How much you reduce it? Oh, in, and the result here is here. So we will, we will have two value to measure. One is called uncoupling. Uncoupling is a, is an efficiency that we saw, and the eye glow is a loss. And so in in our measurement, we will have a forty six percent uncoupling efficiency with only fifteen percent of eye glow. And combined with the traditional one, like binary gratings, it will have you will have thirty percent of uncoupling efficiency, but over twenty percent of eye glow. So the so our result really can help to reduce eye glow. Yeah. So uh, when I see all these cool Air AR glasses yep. at the display week, yep. every time the challenge is which one has a great waveguide, huh? It's a big deal to have a good design for the waveguide. Mm. Because for AI with guy, it's because mm -hmm. when you when you reduce the uh, the eye glow, yep. do you impact the quality of the AR experience in any way? Does it become worse or it doesn't become worse? It will become better. Become better. Yeah, here are the image that we can see. We can see just the down below these two image. This is the eye glow image that at the other C. And to compare with the traditional one, we can see that this the meta grading is performing better. It has a less, less image like other C. Yeah. yeah. And what is these examples there? Oh, this is the freeform meta grading example. This is the top view. And the yellow, yellow area is, the, is our subtract, and the blue area is the air. So you can see it's very unpredictable and freeform shape. And uh, what do we see here? And here is our lab. We, our, our lab also manufacturing the AR glasses. And we did it on the 8-inch silica glass wafer. Yeah. And we also measure some characteristic of our AR wafer, like FOV. And we have a 30 degrees of diagonal direction of AR wafer. Yeah. So is this both your? Yeah, this is our design, and this is how it looks like. Yeah, we just put an image into it, and it will look like, like this. So uh, you extend your deepest gratitude to Synopsis, yeah. Young Optics, and yeah. Cortronic, yeah, Topcon, and, and, yeah. and TDK. Yeah. How did they help? And they help to provide some like the DLP or some light image to help up, help us have the image like this. Uh, how big is AR going to be? Because you're wearing uh, glasses, right? How soon yeah. you will have AR glasses? Uh, I think it must have some few years, a few years to improve it. Yeah, it still has some way, has some road to go through. So the end of this year, right? Yeah, maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.